Imagine the thrill of transforming your financial future in a single year, making a million dollars in your overages business in your first year. It's not just a far-fetched dream, it's an achievable reality. Now it takes hard work and dedication, but the money is there to be made. So get ready to see the possibilities for you to make that money as I share with you the secrets, strategies, and the mindset required to create those results for yourself. Now be sure to watch till the end, because I have a free mini course for you where you can get more details and life-changing information about how you can get started. Now, people ask me if they can make money in the overages business. Now, the clear answer to that is absolutely yes. Anyone who takes the time to learn the business and then gets into action can be successful. All they need to do is to follow the system. A million dollars in revenue in your first year is achievable because the business can be learned quickly, requires only a phone and an internet connection, and the money is there to be made. And to get started, you don't need an office, you don't need any staff, and you don't need to raise capital or borrow money. You just need to learn how and then get into action. Now the tools needed, just your cell phone and an internet connection. Now overages may be a new word to you, so let me explain what overages are and how they work. I'm Bob Diamond, America's tax sale attorney. Overages are the funds left over when a property is sold at a real estate tax foreclosure auction and the property sells for more than the taxes that are owed. Now these overages monies are claimable by the former owner and that makes sense because the government, well, they only need the money to cover the taxes that they were owed. So once the taxes are paid out of the money they collect at the auction, any money over and above that should go back to the former owner. Now, you may be wondering why a property gets sold at a real estate tax foreclosure auction. Well, properties are sold at those auctions when the owner doesn't pay the real estate taxes for a long time. Typically, three to four years of not paying your taxes depending on the jurisdiction. The government then auctions off the property to generate the money to pay the taxes. But the property is sold at a public auction, and usually the sale price is far higher than the taxes owed. So let's consider a house in America worth $400,000. Now that's pretty close to the mathematical average of home values according to the Federal Home Loan Bank. Take a look at the picture. You can see what the average house cost in America is these days, a little over $400,000. Annual real estate taxes are typically around 2% of the property value, which would be approximately $8,000 per year for that $400,000 house. Now, if that homeowner falls four years behind on their taxes, they're gonna owe $32,000 in real estate taxes plus interest and penalties. So the total amount of taxes, interest and penalties due to the government will be around $60,000. Now to recover those monies, the government will sell the property at a tax foreclosure auction. There are always lots of bidders at those sales looking for bargains. So the bidding is competitive and the highest bidder wins. So properties typically sell at 70 to 80% of their value, of course, taking into account the repairs that are needed. Now, many of these properties where they didn't pay their taxes also have not been maintained. So on a $400,000 house, there could easily be a $200,000 repair budget. So let's assume that that house sells for 70% of its value with taking into consideration $200,000 worth of repairs. So that would result in a sale price of $140,000. And after we deduct the taxes that are due of $60,000, that leaves approximately $80,000 left over. Now that $80,000 of leftover money, that is called overages, and that is money that the former owner can claim. Now these monies, these overages monies, appear on little known lists just like these. And you can see these lists. Here are three of them I got you as a sample. And you can see the enormous sums of money sitting there. Right now, these are real lists with money sitting there. Isn't that amazing? Now, if the former owner does not claim their money in a relatively short time, the government will keep that money. And most of the money never gets claimed simply because people don't know about the money and they can't apply for money that they don't know about. And in order to get that money, you have to apply for it. So we're talking about a lot of properties that are being sold every day at tax sale. More than 3,000 properties are sold at foreclosure tax sales every single day. And that brings in for each day over $13 million. And a few million dollars of that money is overages money. So there is a lot of overages money available right now, literally hundreds and hundreds of millions of dollars worth, and it's being added to every day. So I'm often asked the question, well, why don't people know about the overages money? Well, it's simply not a well-known fact. I bet that you never heard about overages until you heard it from me. You may not have even ever heard the word overages. Also, quite honestly, former owners who've lost their property at a tax sale, well, they think, well, hey, the government sold my house. They must keep the money because they sold the house. 
After all, the government was the seller. Well, that's very logical, but it's completely incorrect as a matter of law. I can tell you that as an attorney. And unless those former owners know about the overages money and they apply for it, well, the government simply keeps the money. And that's exactly where the business opportunity is. You are gonna reach out to the people who've lost their homes to see if they're interested in working with you to get a large windfall for themselves that they qualify for. And if you're successful, then you're gonna get a percentage of what you recover for them. Very, very simple offer in a very, very simple business. And by the way, you can tell them they don't need to worry about the deal not working out. If you don't recover money, then there's no cost to them. They can only win by working with you. So that combination of a potential windfall and no risk, well, that makes your offer very exciting for a person who, let's face it, they're so broke that they lost their house at a tax sale. And now they can potentially get a huge free money windfall at no personal risk to them. So the first question most people like yourself sitting here considering this business, well, how do I get a list of the money that's being held? Well, that part is really surprisingly easy. These are lists that I pulled in just a few minutes for free, right on the internet. Look at all that money. There are literally millions upon millions of dollars just sitting there waiting to be claimed because every county in America holds tax sales every year. So there's literally millions of dollars being generated and just sitting there waiting to be claimed, which is gonna be a windfall for the people who lost their house at tax sale and who desperately need some money to get restarted and the basis for an amazing business for you. Imagine collecting finder's fees of 30 to 40% of the money that you help recover. That's why making a million dollars a year in overages business is possible. All you need to do is learn how and then get to doing it. But to me, the best part of this business is not only the money you can make. That's fantastic. We need to make money in business. But it's also that you get to make a lot of money for yourself and your family, but you also are helping people who desperately need that money to get themselves back on their feet. Let's face it, they'd lost their home at a tax sale. They need this windfall. It's literally an answer to a prayer for them. So this is a very straightforward business and Here's how it works. After you obtain the list of the overages money, you're gonna gather the contact information for the people owed the money. You're gonna get their phone number, their email addresses, their social media addresses. We'll teach you how to do that very quickly and easily right online. And then you're gonna reach out to these folks, we call them claimants, letting them know about the opportunity for them to receive a big windfall by working with you. Now it's important to approach this conversation in the right way, as when people first hear about it, they're naturally skeptical and maybe a little bit scared. But as skeptical as they are, they're even more interested in getting money. Think about it. They are so broke that they lost their house to a tax foreclosure. So the potential to get a large windfall of money is really exciting for them. Literally, like I said, the answer to a prayer. So once you work through their skepticism, you get written permission for them to go claim the money. And here's how that claiming process works. There are two methods to claim overages. Now the most common is an administrative claim where you apply to the agency holding the overages money. And the other method is a judicial claim where the money is held by the court system. So you apply to the court for the money. Now in most jurisdictions, the administrative claim method is the one you're gonna be using. And that is very simple. You contact the agency that's holding the money, request the necessary form, you fill in that form, turn it in, they process the claim and they issue a check. Now the forms are simple. They simply require information such as the property address, the name of the person claiming the money, and other simple details so that the government can look up that particular tax sale, verify that the former owner is the one asking for the money, and then cut a check. We train our students to apply for the funds all the time, and with a few minutes of training, literally anyone can complete this form and submit the claim the agency is gonna process the claim and mail you the money. Now, bureaucracies aren't fast, so the process typically takes a few months to happen and for you to get a check, typically three to four months. Now, for the alternative claiming process, that's the one with the courts. Now there, you're gonna bring an attorney who can do the work either for a percentage or for a moderate fee, usually less than $2,500 per claim. And that also tends to take a few months between when you submit the claim to court and it gets paid out. Once you have the claim submitted, you're just gonna to go to work on getting the next claim. It's a pipeline type business. You put deals in, they mature out in a few months, you get paid, and all that time you're putting new claims in. And it's nice, it, that nice workflow and nice even steady money coming in means that money goes in steadily, it comes out steadily. So for example, if you put two claims a month in, you'd get about two claims per month out. Put four claims a month in, 
and about four deals a month come out. It's very simple and you can actually plan your business and your profits that way. And of course, you can do as many deals as you're willing to make the effort to sign up. This is a very profitable and rewarding business. Now in our business, our average deal size is $52,000 and we charge 40%. So each deal is worth a little over $20,000 to us. Now you're free to charge what you want and most people charge 30 to 40%. Of course, they're deals of all sizes from a few thousand to hundreds of thousands of dollars. You saw them on the lists I showed you earlier. Here's a quick look at those lists again so that you can remember. Now you can see the money is there for the taking. Now these deals typically take eight to 10 hours in total of your time. So you can even do this business on the side and still make a lot of money. So you can start it as a side hustle where you pick up maybe an extra 50 to $100,000 over a few deals. And then if you wanna go all in, then you can have overages as your primary source of income. The money's there for the taking, you can see it on the list. All that you need to do is start getting some education on how to do the steps and you need an internet connection and a smartphone. And that's it, very, very simple. Now I've been doing this business for over a decade and it's truly the best combination I've ever seen of profits, low investment of time and money to get started and the rewarding feeling of helping people who've lost their homes to tax foreclosure get desperately needed money and a fresh start on life. This business, it's very straightforward and it could be a quiet business on the side or it could be a full-time scaled up enterprise. The process is simple. Gather your list of claimants, collect their contact information, reach out to them, give them the good news of that available windfall and offer your help to get the money. Now for the ones who take you up on your offer, you file the claim and get paid a couple months later. The steps are easy to follow and anyone can start this business in a few weeks. Now I have lots more details about the business for you. So I put together a free mini course so that you can learn all about it. The link to the free mini course will be shown at the end of this video and in the description below. This can be your million dollar business. And we make an average of over $20,000 per deal on an average claim size of $52,000. So with our 40% fee, we make about $20,000 per deal. So if we do 50 deals a year, that's just a little more than four per month then a million dollars comes in. And that's why I'm saying it's very possible to make a million dollars. Now, it would take effort, it would take focus, and it would take work, but the money is there to be made. And whether you actually make the money, well, that depends entirely upon you. If you're willing to take this on and work hard, yes, you can do it. So I hope you found this video helpful and useful in continuing to move forward in your journey towards greatness. As an overages business owner and an attorney who has a lot of experience in small business, as well as tax liens, tax deeds, and this amazing overages business, I'm here to help you. I absolutely love the overages business because just one person with a moderate amount of training and using just the phone and an internet connection can build a powerful and profitable business, helping people who desperately need your help. Now to learn how you can have your own tax sale overages business, as well as how you can buy tax liens and tax deeds as investments, I've put together a free mini course for you. Get it now by using the link in the description below, and I'll be glad to show you more details about each of the opportunities, overages, tax liens, and tax deeds. So I hope you found this video helpful and useful in continuing to move forward in your journey towards greatness. So go get your access to my free mini course now.